Hey folks, Asia the CEO here, and in this video, we're gonna be walking you through the numerous steps needed to capture Zoom in OBS on the Mac, so let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. Link is in the description. Now, let me give fair warning before we go into this video. There are a lot of steps um, for this to work. Similar to a recent video that I did today where we're talking about the virtual cable, thankfully, the virtual cable actually works on the Mac. So we're gonna be leveraging that as well too. So let's go ahead and just cut over to the Mac and we're gonna start all the steps to go through this. All right, so I'm here on my Rosentosh and the very first thing that we need to install is the VB Audio digital cable. There is the Mac version for that. Go ahead and download that, get that installed. Now, I'm already in Zoom, so let's see what our settings are. I am capturing audio from my webcam. That's right here, just a Logitech. Um, I can't even remember what model this is. It's a 720p webcam. Um, so that is what I'm capturing audio in here. Now, similar to all the other setups, we want to send all of our audio going into, I mean, coming out of Zoom into the VB cable. So it's gonna play everything. So whoever is talking, that is how you're gonna hear, all right? Now, also with doing this, I'm using headphones that are connected directly to my, um, Rosentosh, because that's how, as the host on here, I'm going to be able to hear. This is very important, all right? So that's what we got installed. Go through it again. We're capturing our audio from our webcam. That's how the people on the other end are hearing me. But then we're also sending all audio going to our virtual cable that was installed, all right? So we got that set aside. Now, for those who are having problems with trying to capture in OBS, what we need to do first is go over here to System Preferences. We're going to go to Security and Privacy. We're going to go to Screen Recordings and make sure OBS is set here because if you don't, it's not going to give you the ability to capture your desktop or your um, application window. All right, so we already got that set. Now I'm in a brand new setup here in OBS, a new um, scene collection. We're gonna go to settings here. Let's go to our audio. Everything is disabled, all right? What we're gonna do now is go here to plus. We are going to do a window capture and we'll just call this one zoom I am NOT going to go through the the cropping out of different windows and stuff like that those steps are exactly the same if you look in the original video this is just capturing once you start doing your scenes of people and stuff like that all of that is exactly the same so we'll just call this zoom and now as you can see we have everything here so let's find our zoom meeting Boom, there we go. We are now capturing the exact window. So now, let me get my iPad, and then I will dial in on that into this Zoom call so that we can have someone else coming in here. All right, so we're there. We are gonna admit my iPad and we're gonna connect with our audio. All right, so we're getting audio on both sides. So let's get rid of our participants and let's shrink this down to over here. And as you can see, we're still capturing everybody in Zoom. Awesome. 
let's okay out of this. And you know what, I said I wasn't gonna do it, so let's go ahead and do it anyway. Um, let's go ahead and copy this. Let's paste this. And now let's go ahead and shrink this out for this one person here. I'm holding down options. And I'm going to crop out just this one screen here. Let's move this over here. Now let's get this other one. And for those who asked, if you had multiple other people I would make different scenes for this. So say this scene, I would rename this um, to callers. And of course the name didn't go through. To callers. All right, so two callers. If I had a scene with more people, I would do the same thing. So we got that down, but we're not capturing any audio and I need to mute this because this is getting annoying. All right, so I'm gonna mute myself for right now um, so that I don't keep having this feedback going back and forth here on my, um, on my tablet, I mean, my iPad. All right, so we got that here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and make a new source or you could do it across the board let's do it across the board first let's go to settings let's do our audio desktop audio let's go ahead and set it to our vb audio cable so now this is coming in so as you can see we are getting the results not from me we're getting, this is just the loop back of being played back on the other system. So if I unmute this, now we're getting everything this way, all right? So I'm gonna mute me and I'm gonna come over the tablet. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So my audio is muted on the, um, so my source here, and I am coming directly from my tablet is where the audio is coming from. All right, so now the audio is muted on both. I'm going to unmute myself on here. So now I'm bringing in audio here. And as you can see, because the audio is muted on my iPad, there's no audio because it was picking up the audio from the other device. That's why it was showing up. So what we have so far is because we're using that VB cable, we can capture everybody that's talking on Zoom, but we're not capturing ourselves. So now we need to add another input and actually, let's do it from here. Let's go to settings, back to audio. We're gonna do another input, and now we're gonna capture the audio from our webcam again. So now, we're capturing the same audio that's going to Zoom, is being captured a second time, bringing me in, and now capturing my audio locally. Now, because of this setup, this is where you will want to have headphones on, because then that's how you'll be able to hear yourself talking. So we would want to come out here and then we want to output and then you would be hearing yourself or, excuse me, not this one, you will want to output from Zoom because that's gonna be how you're gonna be able to hear them. Now, because of this, because you're capturing audio twice, 
in OBS, it is going to be a very, very, very bad delay. So what I had to do for my audio, and maybe I should have renamed this here, and let's do that. So because this naming convention is going to be a little bit difficult to follow. So audio two, let's go ahead and disable that. Let's do an audio input. And we're going to call this host audio. And what we're going to do is capture the USB audio here. So we're capturing all over again. So we already know it's host audio. It's easy for us to find. And then you can do the same thing again. Let's disable this one. Let's do another audio input. And we're going to call this uh, Zoom Callers. Well, Zoom Audio. Let's do that. And this is where we point to, to the VB cable. And all right. Now, because of the delay, we need to go in here. We're going to go to advanced. And we're going to have to add a delay on the host. For me and my testing, it was 300 milliseconds. So in OBS, it is delayed. But in Zoom, everyone's going to hear me fine. It's just in the recording, it's going to be different. All right, so <laughs> what ended up happening is uh, the I tried to record the setup here locally, and for whatever reason, I doubled up the audio so it was a bad echo. So I scrapped all of that, and this is much later after I did that recording, and I set everything back up again, and I actually just live streamed to Vimeo. So you can get the full interaction of going from OBS, capturing Zoom, on my Rosentage and streaming it so it would simulate the full thing. There's going to be a link in the description to it, but it will also be on my um, blog with the full video that you can watch embedded into the post. And let's go ahead and just see how did it turn out. All right, this is a test, testing how this whole thing is going capturing OBS, capturing Zoom in OBS on the Mac, and I am capturing my audio um, directly, and then capturing the Zoom audio, which is playing music in the background. So we're going back and forth here. The audio gets muted out when I'm talking as the host. I stop talking, the audio comes back through. So this is a test, a live test of me streaming so that you can tell what is, how the quality of it is. All right, so that's it. We were able to do the same thing and capture Zoom, the Zoom callers audio and the host caller in the Mac um, using the VB virtual cable as well. But like I said, even though we got it working, would I do this? No, not at all. It's, it's a little bit too clunky to do something like that. But the good thing is it is available and there is a way to do it if you really wanted to. I personally wouldn't. But for those who asked, there you go. Hopefully, that makes sense. I have detailed steps in the description as well as links to get to everything that you need that I use to make this thing work. And um, I'm just glad, honestly, I'm glad this is over because this one was, it took me quite a while to try and figure this out to get it working. But thankfully it is working. So for those who want to be daring enough to try it, there you go. So um, I hope you like this type of content. If you do, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos. Hey, and also share the video with some people who might be interested in something like that. And I really appreciate it. Also, please make sure that you're subscribing because we have over 75% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. Come on, folks. Go ahead. Hit that subscribe button. I know you like the content because it's obvious that you do. <laughs> 
Anyway, I also want to thank the patrons who made this video possible. Their names are on the screen right now. And you can become a patron too for as little as $1 a month where you help us train media ministries all over the world. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ, and we will see you on the next video later.